Hey, it's Brianna for Triumph and Tuesdays. This week's topic is about going out of bounds with recovery and about how life doesn't always go according to plan and how you can deal with that. I hate to break it to you guys, but life is about being out of bounds. There are no set rules of ways to do things. I, I think people with eating disorders like to create set rules, but that's not how it is. Life is often lived in the gray and it's just lived in the moment and there's not as many rules as we th think that there are so when you go out go out of bounds with recovery you start to live life because life isn't made to be lived with a ton of rules and Jen thought up this topic and she was asking about like what happens if you go out of your like weight range that you're supposed to be at. Nothing really. I mean, weight range is just like a guess of where you're supposed to be, but your dietitian, hate to break it to you guys, doesn't know exactly where you're going to end up. Like in life, we don't know exactly where we're, we're going to end up. And I have a really good example of this. Um, we have this online ordering system at work where we can order our lunch and then go get it. But they gave me an entire sub instead of half a sub and I always ordered like half a sub but they gave me an entire one. But I just decided to eat the whole thing because I was really hungry that day. But I've learned that in life there are no accidents. Accidents happen because we're doing the wrong thing. So I don't think there's any accidents but things happen because we're doing the wrong thing. So I'm really hungry that day, and so I eat the entire thing. And I was like, kind of like, whoa, that's a lot. Like, and I was starting to question myself about whether that was appropriate because that's not on my meal plan. Like, my dietitian said I only had to have half of the turkey sub and not the whole thing. But I did it, and I noticed that when I did it, I felt better, and it was easier to concentrate and work, and I was happier, and I had more energy. And you know what, guys? I've done this for the entire week, and it's it's been okay. And for therapy, I have this list of questions that I like write down for my therapist. And one of them I wrote down is, is it okay to eat a whole sub sandwich for lunch? But really, I answered my question, of course it is. If that's what you're hungry for, go right ahead. Um, all of these rigid rules with eating disorders just don't make sense in life. And I know not everyone is ready to, you know, change their meal plan up or eat more that's on there, and that's fine. I guess to make it relatable to you, I can say just to challenge yourself and see in life where you're holding yourself back and see how you can improve and what you can challenge yourself on. Maybe in your meal plan, like you're not even completing it, and maybe you could start doing that. Maybe you could take one step forward. Or maybe you could do something just to do it in celebration of life. I always have these celebration of life events or celebration of life foods where I just do it because I can. And I know this seems really silly, but it always really helps me. I went to LA to see Nikki just to do it because I, because I could because I thought that would be amazing and it was amazing but I did that because I could and those are those celebration of life moments it's living out of the ordinary going out of bounds and enjoying your life and that's what I want to say in this video is that we all need to enjoy ourselves and if that means getting out of the rigid strictness routine of our eating disorders or what's comfortable to us or a comfort zone we need to get out of it and enjoy life for instance, I was at work today and this customer randomly brought me these amazing pajamas. Like they're Hello Kitty and they're footy pajamas. I mean, can you believe that really? So I like freaked out and they're really awesome and they're really comfortable. They're kind of too hot right now because it's summer, but I wanted to wear them for the video because I can. Do I normally? No. Have I ever worn pajamas for video? No. But I can and they're awesome and they have little feeties I'll try to show you see I wasn't lying wouldn't it be amazing if that was a thumbnail for this video but we'll see about that but do what scares you live your life try something 
as I always say, you only live once. And I know that at the end of my life that I will regret the things I didn't do more than the things I did. Yes, I've made a ton of mistakes and aren't there are there things that I wish that I could do over if I had the opportunity to, of course. But I always take opportunities and I don't want to regret not doing something. I want to go skydiving, but that kind of freaks people out. So I haven't done it yet. So if you live near me and want to go skydiving with me, please let me know in the in the comments because that would be amazing. But set goals and live your life and know that it's okay to challenge your eating disorder. And that's how we grow as we grow as people and we challenge ourselves and we change and that's what's beautiful about life is the fact that we can change the fact that we grow and become better people so I challenge you guys to go out and live your life and do something challenging and do something fun or and do something because you can do something like me in celebration of life get on a plane and go across the country or eat ice cream just because you can. You only live once. Enjoy your life. Love you guys. Bye.